Today is part two of our series documenting a style shoot from start to finish. If you haven't seen part one, go watch that now. In this video, our goal is to find a location for the shoot. Now our location budget is only $300, which is relatively low, so we may have to adapt and compromise as needed, which will be probably a common theme throughout the entirety of putting the shoot together. So we'll show you a few resources we use online to find locations, and hopefully this gives you some insight into how you can do this yourself. Let's get into it. You might remember that we created a tutorial that outlined how we choose the best locations for our shoots. But in case you haven't seen it, a point we really tried to bring home is that your location can contribute immensely to the overall mood of your photos. So you should be intentional when you choose it. In last week's video, we decided that we wanted an outdated house. We want the location to feel like it could be from any decade in the last 50 years to keep our photos feeling timeless, like the locations in these movies. Now that we know what we're looking for, we'll show you where we find our locations. Quick tip, before you look for a paid space, use your local network. Ask your friends and family to see if you can find a space that matches your vision. In most areas, the next best option is location scouting local businesses, restaurants, hotels, etc., and reaching out directly to the managers of those places. Let them know the scope of your shoot, that you're insured, and that you can pay X amount for an hour of shoot time. In bigger cities like where we live in Los Angeles, there are a few resources we like to use as well. They are PeerSpace, Breather, Airbnb, and Gigster if you have a bigger budget. For this shoot, our location budget is $300, so we'll try the first three resources. We'll start with Breather. We quickly find that they are more office space oriented, which is not what we're looking for, so we'll head over to PeerSpace. The nice thing about PeerSpace is that this website is made for people looking for photo and film locations, so you're likely to find what you're looking for and a host that is cool with letting you shoot inside their space. We found this space that is exactly what we had in mind. The only downside, which is the case with many spaces on here, is that there is an hourly minimum that is much longer than we need and will put us outside of our budget. Let's email the host and try to negotiate. Meanwhile, let's check out Airbnb to see what else is out there. A lot of these options are super modern and updated, which doesn't fit our vision. To be honest, our hearts are still set on that pure space location. If we had found a space on Airbnb, we would have messaged the host, told them about our shoot, and hopefully we'd be able to work out a deal. The host from our ideal location got back to us and said they'd be willing to let us book two hours instead of the required three. Even though this pushes us $100 out of our budget, we'll adapt and extend our budget so we can book this space. Credit card, you got it. We pick a date, book, and now we'll put a creative team together. Next week on the Photoshoot series. <laughs> 